Hello friends, in this video we will make the Fellings reagent and do the Fellings test for reducing sugars. Fellings reagent is actually composed of two separate solutions labeled as Fellings A and B. Fellings A is a copper sulfate solution, Fellings B is a solution of sodium hydroxide and sodium potassium tartrate. Let us first make Fellings A solution, that is a solution of copper to sulfate. I have taken 0.7 grams of copper 2 sulfate to make 10 ml of the reagent. Copper 2 sulfate is pretty well soluble in water. If you feel like it is getting difficult to dissolve, just use some warm solution so that it will get dissolved easier. Now for making Fellings B solution, we need 1 grams of sodium hydroxide, 3.45 grams of sodium potassium tartrate for 10 ml of the reagent. Start by dissolving the pre-weighed sodium hydroxide in 10 ml of distilled water. Into that, we add 3.45 grams of sodium potassium tartrate and mix them well. Sodium potassium tartrate was made in one of my previous videos, you can watch that how I made the sodium potassium tartrate from the cream of tartar which I obtained from a grocery store. I will put the link to the video in the description. After mixing the solution well, we have the Fellings reagent B. Now let us do the Fellings test. We have taken 4 ml of the sample solution that is a reducing sugar in a test tube and we add equal volumes of both Fellings reagent A and B into it. I am using 1.5 ml of the reagent. Fellings reagent is formed when both the solutions A and B are mixed. We cannot pre-mix and store this product as it is not stable for a long time. The complex formed is a copper chelate of sodium potassium tartrate called as bis tartrate cuprate 2. This is actually an oxidizing agent which has deep blue color. Now we place the test tube in boiling water bath for few minutes and immediately you see a color change which is similar to the Benedict's test. The bis tartrate cuprate 2 complex is an oxidizing agent which oxidizes glucose to gluconic acid and itself gets reduced to copper 1 oxide. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.